Hi everyone! In this tutorial, we will implement high scores into our game. We will learn how to save data and also how to load data from a file. Let's get started. Okay, let's go inside the world script and let's create a high score variable. This is going to be zero as default and let's create a constant to store the path that we'll use to store our save file. We're gonna call this one save file path and it's gonna be a string and just like we have a res folder to store our project files we have a user folder that Godot defines for us that we can use to store anything that we want to save on the player system. In this case, we're going to create a save file. I'm going to say user and the name of the file is going to be save data dot save. This user folder, the location of it is going to depend on your operating system, but I can show you where, where it is on Windows. Just go to your file browser and in here, you need to go to app data, which you can go by typing percentage sign, app data, lowercase, and percentage sign. And <clears throat> this will take you to app data roaming. And in here, you want to go to Godot, app user data. And from here, you need to find the, pro the name of your project. In this case, it's Flappy Bird Tutorial and anything that you save or uh, create uh, from Godot and anything that you save into the user folder is going to appear here. Okay, this is going to be our high score and every time we die we want to check our score and if our score is greater than this high score we want that score to be the new high score. So let's go inside our game over method and just before we call in its game over menu from the menu layer it's very important that you do this before you call this otherwise you're, you're gonna get some weird results just before that let's say if our score is greater than the high score let's set the high score to the score Okay, now let's talk about saving and loading this into this high score variable. We're gonna need two different methods, which I'm gonna create at the bottom here. The first one is gonna be save high score, and the next one is gonna be load high score. To save, we're gonna have to create a new file and we will use the path constant that we created to open our save file save data dot open save file path and we want to write to this file the way this open method works is if the path you provided doesn't exist meaning the there's no file named save data that save inside the user folder. This method is just going to create a new file for us. So even though at the start of the game, you're not going to have a save data file yet. The first time we save this file, this method is going to create one for us. Let's store our high score variable using the save data's store var method and this is it so let's close it up so that we're done with this file now let's take a look at the load method and this is going to be used for loading the high score at the start of the game just like saving let's create a new file but this time before we open the path we want to check if the file exists or not. So I'll say if save data dot file 
exists save file path if it exists let's say save data dot open save file path and this time we're not gonna write but we're gonna read from this file the reason we have to check if the file exists in the load method is there's basically no point in trying to load data from a file that's empty. So if you don't check if the file exists or not, and if it doesn't, this open is just going to create a new file and that's going to be empty. So, and we're going to get some weird results trying to read some variable from a file that's empty. Okay, now let's set our high score to the variable that's inside this file that we just opened. And this getVar method is going to read the first variable that we saved inside this file. And in this case, we only have one var variable anyway that we stored here. And finally, let's close this fi file. And now we have to call these methods from the right places. So let's go back to the ready method and let's get rid of this comment here. And after we connect the obstacle spawner, let's say load high score because we want the high score to be set before we start playing our game and ready gets called at the very beginning of the game. And let's go to game over. And if we died and if we have a new high score, let's also say save high score. We don't want to call this if the high score didn't change because there's no point saving it if it's the same. But if we have a new high score, let's go ahead and call save high score. This should work fine, but we also want to see our high score on the game over menu. But right now, we're only passing a score variable to the menu layer. Let's also pass our high score and let's go to the menu script to add the high score to the list of parameters here and let's set the high score label to this variable that we just passed. Okay, great. Let's run the game and see if it works. At the start of the game, I'm just going to die and our high score is zero as we expect. Now let's try to get some points. One, two, that's enough. Okay, so score two, best two. Let's restart and let's die and our best is two. Looks like it's working. Now let's try to beat our best to see if it's updating or not. Three. Yes. So now the best is three. And just for good measure, I'm just going to play one more time and I'm going to get like, oops, I'm not going to get any points because I was too slow. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I can get to two and then die. And let's see. Okay. My score was two. The best is still three. Seems like it's working. This is a really nice feature for our game. And I hope that this was useful for you. In the next tutorial, we will take a look at sound effects, which are really going to bring our game to life. If you liked this video, make sure to comment, subscribe and leave a like. And thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.